Mm. Oh, bad. Wow. Mm. And and my wife said, "What are what, what are you gonna wear those with?" And I said, "Baby, what aren't I going right. to wear those with?" <laughs> Everything. Everything. Put them on right now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, where, where are you going? I have right. to go to the bathroom. I'm putting, I'm <laughs> I'll be my right on. back. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Come back, turn the light on. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you again. I got a banger that I want to get into today. I didn't hit for this one. The only Travis Scott I ever hit for on sneakers is the Air Trainer. Wah, wah. Fortunate for us, my cousin actually hit on the newest pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lows, so I'm going to get into them with y'all. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Travis Scotts. Everybody, this is my cousin, Dally D. What's up, y'all? So you ended up, was it your account or your wife's account? It was my account. Your account. Yeah. Hit for the Travis Scotts. Yeah, I was tired of not hitting them. <sighs> yeah. Well, <laughs> like I said in the beginning, the only one that I ever hit was the Air Trainer. And that one was kind of like an L. Like if you got them, it was kind of an L yeah. because they're like worth less than understand Retail. i reviewed the fragments before and the crazy thing is is his big brother mm -hmm. actually hit on the travis scott fragment lows so i guess you guys just got yeah. it all figured out yeah the only two that I, th I believe the only one that he's ever hit on and the only shoe that i've ever hit on his was the fragments and mine was the the medium Alts. those are good ones <laughs> i think the last big one i hit on was like the off-white uh dunk lows did you see them oh, it's yeah. like the yeah, lot yeah. like one through 50. Mm -hmm. i hit on one of them but aside from that i i haven't hit a real big shoe on sneakers for a long time it's hard to do it is tough but anyhow glad you're here thanks yeah, for coming man. through man thanks for having me it's baby. always a pleasure to see you always a pleasure to see you big oh guy. man he's the man <laughs> <laughs> i'll wait for mr exhaust pipes <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. We got a dope looking box. Looks like it's sale and brown. Is that accurate? I would say so. Okay. All right. It's glossy. Nice looking box. Obviously, it's got the branding of a Jordan 1 box. The tag reads Women's Air Jordan 1 Low OG SP. The colors are sale, university red, and black. This came in women's sizing, and this is a women's 10 and a half, which is comes out to be a men's size nine so not my size but maybe we can work out a little deal and absolutely i'll just hang on to them or family something. baby hey that's you hear that love it taking off the lid we can see the paper is just like we got on the fragments another travis scott jordan one lows it's got that smiley face and the cactus jack and then the jordan wings logo looks pretty dope Seems like that pink tissue paper is like his trademark or something. And then here we go. Oh, yeah. This is this is my first time seeing these, so you're getting my uh, reaction as well. There's our first look. I can see some of the extra laces. See, I really, I haven't seen a whole lot. It's like I always go for these, and then when I don't get them, I'm salty. Right. And I don't want to watch don't anybody's to. video that got them for retail because I'm like, oh, you know, yeah, right. must be nice. Yeah. Yeah, but anyhow, here they are. They're dope. They're really, really nice. I dig that olive color. I like all these little touches that we get on the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's. There you see the Cactus Jack on the tongue. I think they're dope. Most identifiable is this oversized backward swoosh that you have on the outside of the shoe and then on the inside you have a normal swoosh and just behind that you can see faintly the cactus jack i like it i think it's cool because i like how identifiable it is like oh, you yeah. see that and you know, it's like you know immediately that's a travis scott right mm -hmm. you know what you have to do what may i we, we'll do it together well yeah what oh yeah Mm. Oh, bad. Wow. Mm. That's like that glue we used to use back in Woodshop. You know? Absolutely. Back mm. in Woodchucks? <laughs> back in Woodshop. Back, <laughs> back in old Woodchucks. <laughs> <laughs> that guy had the craziest teeth, didn't he? <laughs> I like getting the different packaging, you know? I think they oh, always yeah. do a good job with that. I really like that pink tissue paper. Same. 
I mean, I I don't mind pink. I wear pink. Same, Do bud. you? That's why I got the Easters. They have, they're a very, very, ah, very light okay. pink. And and my wife said, what are, what, what are you going to wear those with? And I said, baby, what aren't? I right. Need to wear those with? <laughs> where, where are you going? I have right. to go to the bathroom. I'm putting, I'm <laughs> I'll be my right on. back. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Come back, turn the light on. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Would you call these overlays, are they white? It does look like it, huh? It looks yes. like the midsole is the sail. But what got me saying that is it looks like we have some flat white laces already in the shoes. And it came with a little individual baggie of the black, the olive color, and the red. I don't know why they made these a women's sizing shoe. Because just like all the other Travis Scott Lowe's, they're definitely not overly feminine or anything. I agree. That's cool. I didn't realize that it had yeah. print on the uh, insole either. That's neat. That just caught my eye. But there you can see Cactus Jack. And then the number 23 up above that. That's really neat. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. That's why, yeah. I, I, that's why I put that in there oh, earlier. Oh, okay. I, like, I think Chris is really going to like the... this. <laughs> <laughs> you had the marker. Yeah, 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 absolutely. yeah. Yeah. But it looks like the outsole is nice and olive. Do you have a favorite colorway of the Travis Scott Jordan? My favorite colorway is probably the the fragments. Yeah. yeah. They're pretty inexpensive too. That... <laughs> yeah, man. Well, that's the thing. That's why I only have one other pair of these in the collection because, and obviously I got them off of your brother, but I've never hit on these and I don't have it like that to be paying resale. You know what right, I mean? Right. Like I I can't spend a thousand dollars on a shoe. Sure. But my first impression of these is that they are really, really dope. Oh, very. Really dope. I do probably I prefer the uh fragment colorway. Sure. But these are these are awesome. Yeah. I would rock these gladly if I was like rich. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, these these and the, the, the reverse mocha lows. Uh, I probably, probably, yeah. I actually probably like those over the fragments personally. The reverse mocha. I think those are yeah. dope too. Yeah, they're real good looking. Yeah. They they really do a bang up job with the colors, and obviously it's a Jordan One silhouette, so I love that. But I love the design. I really like the colors. I just think they're pretty dope. Call me a hype beast. <laughs> I, I won't. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all around really really good looking shoes for sure. yeah yeah and like just another touch that you definitely recognize it's a travis scott is that smiley face on the one i guess that's on the back of the left shoe and on the back of the right shoe you've got that jordan wings logo i don't want to block your face no one does <laughs> <laughs> right if they do then they've got problems then i you know? got problems <laughs> i like to is on the inside swoosh how it says the cactus down the center right yeah that's yeah and that's been i think they did that on all them. the only yeah. other one that i've ever had in hand is the fragments but yeah i like that too and i like that it's not loud i like that it's just subtle but you have that going down behind the swoosh just cactus jack mm -hmm. and i think that is dope it's on both of them but starting with the outsole, what do you think of this olive green color? It's nice. You know what it reminds me of? What's that? Them bags of army men that you would get at the market. Okay. You know what I mean? I, and then I still you sit get there. them often. <laughs> right. My wife will say, hey, it's... It <laughs> can, I, can I get you anything at the market? <laughs> oh, yeah, babe. I've been craving them little the, army men. The little dudes. army men. My, it's growing. <laughs> my, 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 my platoon is, is getting large. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice i might have to come over sometime but it's definitely got that army man mm -hmm. green color it's the same tread pattern that we always have pivot point in the front nike branding there at the midfoot very classic looking it's just like every other jordan one outsole so the insole of this one oh but it also says cactus jack did you mm -hmm. see that so the insole of the i don't know if you can see in there or not thanks the insole of the left one, it's got a jump man there at the bottom, but also further up in purple, it's got that Cactus Jack writing like we see on the inside of the shoe underneath that swoosh. 
So it looks like for all these white overlays, it looks like that's a nice leather. That feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> Man. It does. That's the kind of stuff you just want to cuddle up to and take a nap. See? Look at you. Huh? Stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like all these overlays, they're white leather. And it seems like a real nice quality, as we would expect. And then for the base of the shoe, I don't know if that's a new buck. Is that a new buck? I don't know. It's something, it, it feels like a new buck, but you actually get a lot of back and forth motion on mm -hmm. it, don't you? You get a lot of life. I don't know if you can see it because the sun's going down now, but you get a lot of color change whenever you change the direction on the shoe. And that's always a good sign. I guess that is just a real short-haired new buck. But on the toe box, you can see those perforations like we always have. It's a nice black color. It's nice and dark. And then uh, we can also see that material on the side panels. Wow, that really does change colors a lot. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but trust me if you can't see it. It's amazing. It is. <laughs> right. I'll tell you what else pops pretty mm -hmm. sweet too is that right there. What's just, that? Just this right here, the cactus jack. Oh, yeah, on the, yeah. On the tongue there. Yeah, that's the tongues are black to match the base. And this, oh, they both say cactus jack. I was thinking on the fragments, I think they're different on the fragments, but that is interesting. That's mm -hmm. cool. But yeah, then they both have this cactus jack tag on the tongue as well. It's a standard nylon tag and a black color. I like that they put the red. Yeah. I think the red really pops off Absolutely. of these other colors. It looks great. But it's got red Nike Air branding on a black tag there at the top. And obviously, like we mentioned before, we have these overlays. This, the stuff for the swooshes, it feels the same as a base, doesn't it? Yes. Like I would say that's probably a new buck, but that's a nice olive color. And again, that one's backwards and the inside is regular. And then I like how on the right shoe, it's got the wings logo. And then on the left, it's got the smiley face. And again, I just think that red really pops. We've got a black sock liner. And then both of the insoles are a little bit different, like I showed you before. But all around, I think they're dope. What would you score these out of a 10? Oh. 10 being the best. 10 being the best, I'm yeah. going to get buried in them. I would say an... 8.8 8.8 I think that's fair I think that's an I think that's score. yeah if I'm going on my favorite shoes of all time 0 to 10 10 being the most I've ever liked a shoe in my life I would probably put these up around 8 I think they're dope I think they're really really nice and of course the scarcity of them makes them that much more appealing just because like and the thing is too these aren't my size, but I would like to own these because I collect shoes. I think they're awesome. I wouldn't mind owning these. I don't have $1,000 to spend on them, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Hopefully, my cousin hooks me up, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. Retail. Family discount. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing before we go. I wanted to talk about most of your sneakers, maybe not most of them because you get a lot of shoes, but yeah. you get shoes on raffles correct what do you call them they're they're called raz r-a-z-z -Z. and you said but i'm not on facebook i'm not really on instagram or anything i'm on youtube obviously right. but that is about it i i kind of don't know anything about any of that but that is what on facebook they post yep so so you can you can join facebook groups who do anything from sports memorabilia to purses to goodness anything trampolines for kids I mean a lot of people will just post stuff and and they'll say 10 spots at $60 a spot okay so the the high OG mochas that I that I had won but I had opted out and took two different pair of Jordans and cash back uh -huh. was 10 spots at $300 per spot with three of those spots being free you had to buy into to the raffle to okay get, to, to get the chance to get one for free then they kind of do so let's say me you and eight other people say okay we're gonna put three hundred dollars each into it okay then they do another mini raffle to see who gets their spots for free then those three people don't have to pay 
Wow. So what's funny was I was spot number two. Mm -hmm. I won the mini. I won one of the mini spots, so I didn't have to pay for my spot. Okay. And then my spot won the shoe. Oh my <laughs> word. Yeah. But and you've done this a couple of times, I've and it. I've seen shoes that you got. I was a little bit skeptical, but. They they were definitely real deal Holyfield. Oh, absolutely, because a lot of these guys have been in these groups for years, and they're not going to tarnish their name to... Because it's something they continue doing. Correct, yeah. And to, I guess it makes sense, because if you're buying in, how many? How much was it a ticket for the Travis Scotts? So those were 10 spots at $300 a spot. $300 a spot, okay, yeah. and how many get paid for it? Eight of the spots get paid seven for? Of those seven of spots get okay. paid for. So seven people. So then it does make sense. Seven people paid out $300. The groups I'm in are, are really, really good people. Um, they do a lot of really cool shoes, different kind of shoes. Those shoes I have on right now, I won from from a from a Raz. So yeah, they do anywhere from, you know, 10, 10 spots at $20 a spot yeah. to, to 10 spots at and, $300 And you, a you spot. can always, it seems like you can always pick Oh yeah, between a couple of different ones. Yeah, so right, yeah, right there in the comments, you you'll post in the comment section. I want spot number two, and it's first come, first serve, mm -hmm. and then they have their PayPal, Venmo, Cash App up, okay. up in the section, and then you. So everyone picks their spots. Once it's filled, everyone sends the money to the said person, and then they randomize it, and whoever's name is at the top wins the prize. That seems like the kind of thing I'd get addicted to. It's. It scratches that itch. It's, it's, it. it's not addicting at all. <laughs> right. <laughs> I look at yeah. it like this. If I pay for four spots out of ten, my chances are pretty good. Oh, yeah. So I can either... Do you buy multiple spots? Absolutely. A lot? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why... You dally D. That's right, Forget baby. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, why, why not get a 40% chance to win? If I win, I'll take the prize or I'll take... They have a, a cash back option so you can get 80% of what the full pot was. Okay. So on wow. those shoes, on those mochas, and then that way the people hosting it get to keep get, get 20%. to keep a little money. Uh, that is neat. But I've never done anything like that. I'm kind of I I'm getting to be old timey. I guess. understand. I don't understand. know. It happens, you know. Yeah, absolutely. We go way back though, right? We do go way back since like, the '80s, right? Like, like two cats in the back of a cattle. Right? Right. I was actually born in 1990. You were born in 1990. Nin I was I was trying to figure that out earlier. Because I knew that it would be close. It, it, it is close. Yeah, I was born in 90. I'm a Lions fan. The last time the Lions won a playoff game, I was a month old. Hmm. I know. And who knows when they'll win them. Thanks, playoff. everybody. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Good night. <laughs> well, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for bringing the kicks. Heck yeah, man. I love you, man. You're love the you best. Love you, too. Yeah, these are, these are pretty sweet. Would you? Would I what? Would you, would you buy a pair? Oh, yeah, yeah. Who wouldn't? Oh, sure. Yeah. Especially with the cousin discount. Absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, y'all. We're out.